What is up guys, we're back again with more Lace Cyrus videos and for today we will be checking out a B-side track from their latest Easy album, We Have uh, Smart. Now just a quick disclaimer, um, I've tried I've tried my very best to avoid any kind of spoilers for the past weeks, mainly because I've been busy, right? Uh, that's why I haven't like been posting as often as I used to on my channel. But I guess that's the downside of not watching all these releases like uh, on D-Day or like in real time. Is more or less you're gonna see spoilers from you know from any kind of social media pages, right? And uh, I've seen three things, right? First is like that smarter baby smarter part which just blew off especially because of Chewon right she went viral for that one so I've heard and seen that specific segment of the song right second the Zuha with Banks like all of a sudden she just decided to you know what I'm gonna rock this Banks and have like a Bay Suzy Donna esque personification uh in that K drama series, right? I've seen that as well. And uh lastly I've seen also like the teaser for their upcoming uh comeback, I guess. Uh we have the Easy Crazy Hot trilogy. Uh I'm assuming it's another trilogy similar with Fearless, Anti Fragile, and Unforgiven. But yeah, that's that. I mean I guess that's the down downside. Of being late with all these right um but again uh it is what it is uh but i haven't heard like i haven't heard the entire song as well as the official mb so that's why we're here right but yeah let's check this out we have lay seraphim's smart um official mb let's check this out let's go smart No, that was coffee, I guess. Oh, okay, we're, we're starting off with this already. I thought it was just like the chorus. Hey! Hey! We have another Nabi top, right? Butterfly top. Oh, I like how she prolonged that note, okay? Hey! Hey! Wait, is... Like the top of Unchained did Kuro also knit that? Hmm, yeah, this shit went viral. <laughs> hey! Hey. Okay. Is this Scarlett Johansson or am I like tripping out? Please let me know and correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I mean, we have a lot of twerking in this choreography. I see that. <laughs> I mean, Kura right now is just like rocking my ultimate killer combo of bangs, high ponytail, and glasses, man. It's GG. Uh -huh. I swear it looks like Scarlett Johansson. Woo. I like that look, okay. <laughs> Giving me anti fragile vibes, well. I'm smarter, baby. Maybe that's why they're wearing like school uniforms. I'm smarter, right? Maybe we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see when we like check out the lyrics of the the song later. <laughs> yeah, okay. This might be it. 
I mean, they've exactly. done this uh, previously as well, right? But I think it was during an award show uh, where they teased um, the Unforgiven flag. I think that was it, right? But yeah, I mean, no wonder um, this song just went viral. I think it's mainly because of how like groovy um, this song is, especially that chorus. I mean, overall, like the instrumental is not like that loud bass punching kind of sound like similar with uh maybe anti-fragile right it's very laid back it's very chill but the overall like you know vibe that you that you just get from it makes you dance so much and no wonder like when you add that choreography as well of them they're like their hip swayings it just like you know, took off <laughs> for uh in, in the social media world right but yeah i mean congratulations to lay seraphim i feel like that's my alarm. I feel like um this song could actually be like a title track uh if they had an option, right? But I guess they chose easy. But either way, I feel like both songs would perform great, uh nonetheless, right? But yeah, let's check out the lyrics of this song. Smart, let's go. Oh wait, what? <laughs> I just realized it now. Was everything like did everything happen on Yunjin's brain? Or what? Like cause we started off with this scene right here and then we like she started dancing and shit. Like everyone's just dancing and then we ended it with that uh it's like a continuation of the cutscene right here. Right? Let me know. <laughs> oh maybe <laughs> maybe it's like a like a magic potion whatever she drank right uh suddenly made her right because look at her expressions here right she i think she accidentally dropped the coffee or whatever drink that is and she felt weird and then she just smiled and smirked and started dancing so it might be the effect of that drink Wait, smarter, baby, smarter, just one, just one. You see, I'm just listening to it like unconsciously. I, my body's just dancing overall. No wonder. I see through and break through. Okay. Okay. It's all going to plan. Oh, okay. It's all going to plan. I want to be a uh, the newbie. Newbie, what? I'm a newbie, soon to be a butterfly. Uh, I guess this uh, uh, like gives us an image of their career as Lay Seraphim or even as an idol, right? That uh, being part of like um, you know, great producers and like great team from Hybe, uh, everything is planned out for them, um, right? And from newbie people, newbie in the group, I mean, not like the other, you know, Yunjin, uh, Chawon, and Kura, right? Now they're striving to be like butterflies in this industry, right? Striving to be one of the best, especially in their generation, right? Being a winner and like, what's the other one? Like breaking through, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. A victory. Sugar? Why? Why sugar? I want. Ah, there's there's a saying like uh, what was that? Um, uh, sweet sweet victory. So maybe that's their way of saying it. Like instead of sweet victory, uh, it's a sugar for them, I guess, right? Look at Chawan's body here. The way. She just moves her entire soul with every beat of this song. Then that's cool. I'll never lose, okay. I like this part. Mm. Ooh. Uh, 
them again addressing their haters, right? And like uh, recently, especially for this comeback, I think Play Seraphim has been getting a lot of like unnecessary hate from from net netizens, and um, I guess this is one way of saying that uh, despite all those noise, those hate, they really don't give a shit about it, and they just focus on the work, right? And try to produce the best results as possible, right? This is the haters. They say I'm mean. But for them, it's shh. Yeah, okay. And I think they're okay with being the villains of the industry. I don't know, man. But one thing is for sure that, you know, they don't listen to them haters, right? They just do what they, what they have to do. Ah. And as members of this group, right, they only listen and, like, lean on to each other right what i was saying here uh that's me i see lay seraphim i see lay seraphim leads me to victory right okay to success and maybe they're they're smart for that like um i guess being social media savvy in terms of like how to handle the hate uh the unnecessary hate uh, and bashing from you know netizens i mean if you're an online presence or like if you're a celebrity or like any kind of like um figure right popular figure more or less as much as you have a lot of fans there's no way that you don't have any kind of sort of like haters right There's uh, another saying, um, the smart heart, no, the smart harder, work, work smarter, not harder. So maybe it's just their way of, um, ah, yeah, maybe that's why it's smart. Okay. Work hard in secret. And I think this is still in line with the theme of uh, this album, right? That they're trying to show. Um, that uh, everything may seem easy on the outside, but like when you look at it from the behind the scenes, right? It's definitely not easy. But, you know, with Lay Seraphim, this is just, they are just trying to make things look easy. Maybe that's how good they are as a group, as members, right? That's why we have a line here, work hard in secret. Like clockwork, like a well-oiled machine. And everything is planned out, right? Uh, even like in their variety shows, I think they excel in that aspect as well, right? Oh, Zua did it as well. Like the one Chaman did a while ago. Me, me. So I just wanna be me, right? I wanna be me, me, me. I can see. It. And again, it all boils down to this chemistry of the group that they formed. And I think this is this might be intentional, right? Putting Unche here in the center for this part, right? smarter because she is the youngest in this group right and they're already one of the successful groups out there and like i guess it's her way of saying yeah you know she, she's playing it smart as well all right even though like she's just new to this industry i guess and after Unch i don't know if this is intentional now because after Yunche, we have Kura, who is in this group, right? Is one of the longest active idols currently, right? Uh, we go way back from her Jap Japanese days, right? So maybe it's, you know, you're seeing both spectrums, uh, being the youngest and the oldest here, and, you know, seeing the results of them being successful as a group. And maybe it's all going to plan, like maybe for Hybe who tried to join and stitch everyone into this group, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah, here we go. It's definitely the theme of their album. Well, I I only heard two songs from them, right? 
easy and um, this one smart. There's the haters again. It's all luck. It's all maybe coming from the privilege of being part of uh, the hype, right? One of the big, uh, big companies in the K-pop industry. But I think they're saying here that you know that may be uh, an aspect on why they're successful. But I think that's not everything. Uh, that's not the only reason why they're successful, and it's mainly because they put the you know the sweat, the tears, the blood. I, I hope there's no blood, right? The blood, sweat, and tears in order to be this successful in this time, right? And I really like this line. My sweat's not lying. Mm, don't slow down. In, in a fast-paced industry, I guess, you really have to make a mark or uh, to separate yourself, your group from the other groups who are like, you know, as of now, we have a lot of groups debuting from left and right, right? And it's your way of trying to make a stand or like a make an image to separate yourselves from the rest, right? Hey. Hey. Work smart, not hard. Right? Oh, wait. I guess, I guess too, right? Uh, showing this behind the scenes, maybe it's their way of saying uh, the, the, the sweat line, right? Now that we have like this specific shot here that they did really work hard for this song for this discography for you know everything that it's not just uh spoon fed to them right from the costumes to the sets to the hours spent of doing all of these choreographies and shoots and takes right it's no easy task right uh like the image of being um the privileged group under hype i think is only maybe a small portion of their success right i think one of the main reasons why they're also successful is that um them being uh great individuals and like you know the personality as well is very um appealing to the audience right as well you know outside their performances which i really like and love about them okay Le Seraphim. Le Seraphim. I think uh, Le Seraphim is still one of the, you know, in like, based on what I've seen from all K-pop groups, I think Le Seraphim, in terms of marketing, is one of the best marketed groups out there. Like, the way they just market uh, this specific group right here uh, just says a lot about their success, right? They even have their own brand of clothing. It's not, I don't even call it merch anymore. I, it's like their own brand of clothing, right? I, and I mean, like in the future, I wouldn't be surprised if they even have like their an own like store for, for that, right? Like, you know, some like Uniqlo, H&M shit, right? Le Seraphim, I mean, they even sell panties, the joggers and everything else right it's just insane but yeah that's that for this um music video the b-side i still haven't like uh finished or like i i haven't even started on the album like same with the other groups that i've been listening to i've just been busy lately but yeah guys let me know in the comment section your thoughts on this uh song right here um but yeah also let me know who that person is the one in the the painting right but yeah till the next video guys i'll see you guys there peace out